But even let's say the martial arts that came to United States, you know about twenty years ago, twenty-five years ago, these things started coming. See, they need enormous discipline. If you want to go into martial arts, if you learn martial arts in India, for example, not the… the popular ones have become like this only, but the… you know, the traditional martial arts, they will put you through enormous discipline. You have to dedicate your whole life to it, you have to surrender to the guru. He will teach you in a certain way that it transforms your life, not just you learn to kick and beat. It's a whole long process. You don't get certificates. You don't get certified this belt, that belt, that belt, you know. You don't get any certificate. Till he says, till the master says, you can use it. Till then, even if somebody comes to kill you, you don't use it. You just die like an ordinary man. Even though you have the potential with your bare arms, you could just knock down ten people, you don't use it till he approves it. This kind of discipline is enforced. Because if the subjective science has to work, that's how it is. But that kind of martial arts came to United States, in ten years' time, just see what happened. It became a kicking culture. Yes? You learn and kick anybody in the face. Now you don't have to kick people down below, you can kick them in the face, you learn the new trick. Now, all the self-discipline which went with it, went away. It just became like a fighting force. It was not a fighting force, it was another way of controlling the violence in you and make you very self-disciplined and realize at some point,